All right, so uh, I'm watching some chickens and dogs for a few days, and um, I thought I would start doing uh, some short vlogs, like probably no longer than 10 minutes uh, over these days um, that I'm watching these animals because, you know, <laughs> I can't stream. So I might as well keep in contact with you guys in some way. But uh, these are going to be like highly informal. And uh, I don't know. If you like them, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if you think they're shit, let me know. Either way, yeah, the stuff behind me is is a lot of stuff. Most of it's not mine. Some of it is. This is what I'm dealing with right now. Either way. Um... I thought I'd talk about Sonic, Sega, and NFTs. Now, for those of you who don't know, an NFT is a non-fungible token. What that means is that it's not a currency. It's simply a token that's assigned to some data in the blockchain. And uh, what it specifically means in this case is that uh, Sega decided to partner with uh, a company to do an NFT drop, just like so many other people are. And the backlash that was received was severe, primarily because Sonic has always been about environmentally friendly stuff, fighting high toxin environments, uh, helping stop the evil, greedy, uh, technocrat, fascist kind of guy. Um, and yes, that's exactly what Sonic is about. If you're if you're new to the Sonic series, uh, that's like basically the catch up you get. Um, he's always been like a freedom fighter, fighting for like the little guy. Um, it's it's a very good series, but a lot of Sonic fans are upset about the NFT drops, and they claim that it's a betrayal of the message of Sonic. Um. I want to counter that, and I want to say that it's no more a betrayal of Sonic than the actual production of the games and equipment are. Uh, let me explain. If you just look at the sensationalized headlines about anything cryptocurrency, you'll always get like a cavalcade of people who say that cryptocurrency is terrible for the environment, that it's killing the planet. Um, but those people aren't being honest. They're not comparing it to other industries. Um, they're not comparing it to existing things that, uh, that they use, um, for the vast majority of cases. And then when you find out that, like, blockchain technology is competitive to, like, gaming itself, uh, to a significant amount of transportation... Um, to all um, the the banking system, like it, it's completely dwarfed by that. Uh, but I don't see people calling for a boycott of Sega because they're accepting dollars. You know, I don't see people calling for a boycott of Sega because they're employing third world labor to produce merchandise um, and sell games. You know. I don't, I don't think anybody's calling for that, because that's asinine. Um, the market we're in, uh, in, in involves a significant amount of pollution, and every new thing that is mass-produced will cause a significant amount of it. Not only that, but I don't see the same people with the same fervor calling for, like, at least for the most part, like 95% of the part, calling for an end to the military-industrial complex, a huge pollutant, or calling for, you know, a specifically green grid. Um, it's, it's about blaming a symptom rather than the problem, because they wouldn't be able to talk about the units of, of CO2 or the carbon footprint if the grid was carbon neutral. They don't want to have that conversation, though. They don't want to have a conversation about the 
uh, things that they're already doing that are bad for the environment. They don't want to have a conversation about the fact that basically any huge corporation is already bad for the environment. You know, they don't want to talk about the fact that their gaming equipment itself was produced in conditions that create the need for fake skies in um, China specifically, where they are putting these fake skies in so that people can see a skyline even though they can't see the natural one through the smog. Like, pollution is overwhelmingly a government problem, and it's also not exclusive to NFTs. So when people act like because NFTs are coming along, they're somehow worse than the existing system? Bullshit. Total, total garbage. And I get a lot of shit for saying things like this, so I don't expect to get a positive reception, but it's not as though, like, (laughs) Sega was great for the environment before. It's not as though they were you know, doing some sort of environmental initiative where every Sonic game bought planted a tree. You know, this isn't counter to what they've done before. And the idea that because they're doing this now, um, they're somehow evil, (laughs) it's pretty laughable, you know? And it's also laughable given the fact that Everybody involved in the criticism, with very few exceptions, is massively inconsistent and not at all interested in addressing all the parts of their life they could use it. This is like a two minutes hate, but like Sega instead. Um, And I'm not, you know, whatever, simping for a corporation because I hate NFTs. I think they're a waste of the crypto space um, and I think they (laughs) ultimately... Uh, are going to dilute art uh, and cause art itself to become even more commodified than it already is. I think it's hugely negative, personally, but not because of the environment. The environment is fucked either way unless we actually do something to overhaul the system, to address the systemic concerns that lead to environmental catastrophe. And you can't do that by boycotting SEGA. In fact, if we actually address the systemic problems here, if we actually looked at, you know, what the, like, major pollution source is, the state, you know, if we looked at the fact that, like, state capitalists have been, like, pushing uh, pollution for, like, ever um, as, like, a normal and good thing, And the fact that our entire grid system is based on heavily polluting bullshit. If we looked at that, then we would have a shot at actually making the grid green and having everything, including NFTs, green as well. But screaming about NFTs, screaming at Sega, that's not the solution. The solution is to look at the root of the problem and pull it out by the root. It's to examine the causes, not the symptoms. NFTs are a profitable market, and people are going to jump into profitable markets, especially if they want to do silly things like fund the next video game. So, ultimately, you're not going to get your super environmentally friendly uh, Sega until we make the whole industry environmentally friendly. And that includes... Uh, the methods by which the parts and raw materials for computers are extracted, but that's a whole nother video. Like, I'm just saying, try not to be a hypocrite, and try not to let the uh, mystique of attacking a corporation blind you to the fact that all of them are guilty. Unless you're willing to boycott everything, unless you're willing to uproot the system, you're not going to get change in the way that you want. So stop blaming Sega and get to fucking work.